What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and this is my review of the new X-Real One AR glasses. Now, I covered X-Real for a couple of years now. I remember even reviewing the very first X-Real Airs, um, going to a convention to check those out, then getting them in hand. And so I've really followed the journey of this product. I'm partnering with X-Real because this is by far my favorite augmented reality glasses that I really use as a video player on the go. And we're gonna talk about all of the new features that are inside of here. I think the biggest thing to talk about is, yes, these are AR glasses, right? You see them here. Right now I have nothing connected to them, but what is unique about them is these are the first ever with a dedicated custom chip developed by Xreal. It's called the X1 that is inside these glasses. Now, why is that important? Why do you think, okay, well, what's the big deal? We've seen the space evolve and in just basically a year and a half or two, it's really been taking leaps and bounds before you had a previous Xreal AR glass you needed something like this. This is called their Beam. They also have another device called the Beam Pro. And this would allow you to physically, when plugged in and connected, uh, adjust the screen, lock in the screen, right? When you're putting these on and you wanna see display, you needed this to be the brains of the operation. Well, guess what? You don't need it anymore. The brains are all in here. And what does that mean? It's a self-contained single AR glasses that does everything. That in itself is already like, we're seeing how the advancements are happening. The technology is getting smaller and has been able to be packed inside a form factor like this. So what are the benefits of the X1 chip? The biggest thing here, this allows you to anchor your screen, right? Set it in place. But the biggest thing is a, it's a feature, or let's say an aspect of glasses called motion to photon latency. Now this is the delay that happens when you're moving and then how the display tracks with you. Now the previous models, the delay with this, when you had to use kind of an external uh, brain box or something like the Beam or the Beam Pro, that was 20 milliseconds. Now you compare something in this industry, Apple Vision Pro, that's a 12 millisecond delay as you move. When you talk about this now built in, three millisecond delay from movement to how this tracks. What does that mean? The Even something like the edges of the screen are a lot cleaner and the refresh rate is a lot cleaner. So this is a big deal for AR glasses that you're moving around and looking at and watching content on the go. In case you're curious, yes, you're getting a three DOF or three degrees of freedom. So right, left, right, up and down. Oh, and the biggest thing you might care about, what is the field of view on these glasses? Now the previous designs, 46 degrees, this X-Real one, 50 degrees. So you might think that those four degrees when you have glasses on, that's gonna make a difference. So a larger field of view, also a good thing. But what we also wanna talk about is what's in the box. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. All right, so you have this nice, cool, shiny, cool box that says the one really big on it. I'm just gonna take off the cover and reveal it. Oh, and there you go, right? The first thing you're gonna see is a case that says x Real on it. It has kind of like a soft leathery feel. We're gonna then open up this case and it shows you the glasses, the x Real ones, those are right there. In addition, you're gonna be gaining a USB-C cable. Now what's cool about this is that it has an angle here where I basically just pop in this connection. One end goes here, the other end goes directly into your device. What type of devices? We're talking about things like a phone, Android phone, iPhone, uh, Steam Decks, a lot of different things that you can connect it to. In addition to that, you also have a nice cleaning cloth. I just wanted to show it to you here. It says x Real on it. And then um, nose pads. This is different sizing. This comes um, by default with a medium sized nose pad. These are actually really flexible, so they're made to fit a lot of different kinds of noses, flat, pointy, whatever you have. But you also have small and large nose pads as well. That's really all that's in the package. Those five things and that's all you need again no need for any type of external device it's all in here one thing to mention uh, when you unbox this the first thing you're going to want to do after you take everything out is actually an over-the-air update you can use a pc or mac also they recommend using a chrome browser but this over-the-air update will allow you to get the latest version of sound by Bose. This is uh, important because you want the best audio quality. These sound great, we'll talk about those in a little bit. And then also the ability to use something if you still want access to all those apps that's on that Beam Pro device, uh, that is also gonna be updated to work with these. So the software update is always gonna be important. You need to do that once you open these up. Okay, let's talk about the actual design of these glasses. Now they look really similar to previous X-Real Air, X-Real Air Ultra and Pros, but they are different. Now, from a side profile, the, the actual front cover of these glasses, right? This lens part, significantly thinner. 
You still have the, what we call the birdbath prism. This is that triangular design that does, you know, bounce the image from these glasses into our eyes. This is coming from two Sony 0.68 micro OLED displays that are in these glasses. Also, what are you talking about? Um, resolution and quality, 1080p at 120 Hertz refresh rate, but it, it looks very clean. Like something up this close. Yes, I, I'm not complaining. Does everyone want 2K or 4K? Yes, that would actually, they could actually do that, but it would cost a lot more. And the whole point of this is let's make these in a affordable price that is generally acceptable by the consumer. These are $499. You also have designs here within the frames, right? A lot more flexible, smaller uh, frames themselves. So that's a good thing. We talked about the USB-C plug-in. This is gonna allow you to plug into, literally, I just pop and plug in my iPhone, I see the display instantly, it just works. Android phones, Steam Deck for gaming. Now, one of the things that it doesn't connect to directly is Nintendo Switch, because Nintendo Switch does not have video out via USB-C. It's only devices video out via USB-C, but you can buy an HDMI adapter that would allow you to connect a Switch. It will allow you to connect game consoles if you wanna sit back at home and see something on how big of a display. These essentially show you a 147 inch display. You can increase it up to 191 inches. You can change the distance. And also if I put these on, yes, I can connect these directly to my Mac, just USB-C. It instantly detects it and you can get a 32 by nine ultra wide display. We're talking about something about like this big. If, if you had to put a measurement on it, 244 inch display ultra wide from these when connected to a Mac or PC. That's pretty sweet. We touched upon it a little bit. If you take a look in here, you'll see a logo. It says sound by Bose. And that means the sound on here has been improved significantly. If you look back here, you'll see like a speaker grill on each side. This is a sound chamber that has been designed and optimized in partnership with Bose. I'm gonna tell you, I've been watching movies on this. Of course, if I'm on a plane, I'm gonna wanna put on headphones, but the audio coming from these impressive. If you wanna just use it for music listening, any kind of audio, it sounds really good. You see these glasses, you wonder what's the battery life? Well, because you have to obviously plug this in into a device, it's gonna use the battery from that device. Now, it depends on what you're doing, what you're watching. I don't even have a real true measurement because I've been using so many different devices. Uh, one way to look at it, if you have a MacBook plugged in and this plugged in the MacBook, that's pretty much power is always gonna be on. But on portable devices, it's going to vary on your use case. But part of the advantage of this is it's just plug and play and that's what you want. So let's talk about the experience. When you look at different types of mixed reality glasses, right? You have Meta Ray-Bans, which is low tech, but techy enough and approachable design. This is an approachable design, but killer, killer for lo like low weight, you know, just really sleek, easy to use video viewing. This is a great plane experience. You don't have to have a huge chunky headset. I can wear these for hours. I literally could wear them for hours to watch video content on a plane. It's not to get uncomfortable. And I think that's the biggest thing. You could take a display with you anywhere. Maybe someone might argue these, when someone says augmented reality, oh, I wanna see the world around me. Yes, these don't do that just yet, but down under here, there's there's a little notch. You'll, you'll be able to see it here. There's a rubber piece, but what Xreal is gonna be releasing later on is this uh, device called the Xreal Eye. It is a camera that's gonna go right here, a first person camera, and then because it'll be able to be an add-on if you want, it'll be able to use multi-modal AI. So what does that mean? It can see text. It can see images, it can see video, and then offer you information or recommendations from that. So what we have now is just the first evolution, but with a few add-ons, it's gonna get even more impressive. So it'll be able to do more than just watch videos or look at images. So the, the X-Real ones are gonna be a whole lot more impressive if you choose to get that X-Real eye right there. Uh, you also have the ability for people that are wearing glasses. Um, you can get a prescription lens insert that goes in here it pops right on, so that's gonna be really cool as well. But I think overall, if you're looking for the best lightweight video viewing portable experience, these are absolutely the glasses that you have to look for. And I've just seen how they've evolved over time. It's just been really impressive. And that's where I wanted to partner with them to showcase how this industry is moving forward. Now, some of the other things here, a feature called electrochromic dimming. Now, in the past, you had to put like this big, black plastic shield over it if you wanted to get essentially a blackout effect. No longer, 
Again, you can do this directly from the glasses. And if you're wondering how can you do that, on the actual arm, on this right side of the arm, there are a few buttons here. Um, we're gonna call this red one the X button, and that gets you into the main menu. You have a kind of an up and down navigation button next to that, so that's how you navigate these. We can't show you what the menus look like because you might get a little glimpse, but it's not gonna do it justice. Again, the brains are all here now, so it means it had to have buttons. Also up top here, this is like a hot button that allows you to customize it for a long press or a single press to do different functions. One of them is that electrochromic dimming to change between uh, seeing through the glasses or having it completely black and dark. This is a feature packed pair of glasses that just look like the glasses you've seen before, but yeah, they're a whole lot smarter. So you can tell that yes, I am very high on the X-Real ones because this is the most portable, most comfortable video plain pair of AR glasses on the market today. It's really exciting to see what they're gonna be doing now and moving forward. We talked about that X-Real Eye camera that's coming. That's going to level this up and how they're going to develop this new custom chip, their X1 chip, not only for this glasses, but beyond and in the future, because again, a completely self-contained design. Um, I love what they're doing here and it's just a sign of how this space is evolving and growing. Now these, the X-Real ones, they are $4.99. You can order them today. In March of 2025, they're gonna release an X-Real 1 Pro model. What's the difference? A field of view of 57 degrees, so that's gonna be wider. Also, the prism design is this uh, column design that makes the glasses even slimmer. So you have a few advancements there. I'm very curious to see how that comes together, but overall, this is uh, not, I wouldn't even say a tiny step. This is, to me, a monumental and significant step in AR glasses of what we're getting here all in one, all here, and here you go, X-Real Ones, gotta love it.